going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I've got a rear diffuser for the course. I can't wait to go and fit it. It's going to be self tapping in because that's the way we roll around here is self tappers all the way along. No, but it's going to look good because it's going to be underneath the car so you're not going to see the self tappers. It's just going to look sick. I can't wait. Let's just get it on the car because, oh, well, not get it on the car. We need to open it first and show you guys what it actually looks like. But once we've done that, we'll get it on the car. I don't know what the lighting's going to be like outside, so hopefully it's decent. And so yeah, let's get this bad boy open. So boys, we need a trusty knife, well, a trusty Stanley knife, and try not to cut the actual diffuser. <laughs> I think it's actually in like protective packaging anyway, so it's, it's all good. Jesus Christ, how many layers do you want? There we go. Oh, it's in bubble wrap. The chin, the mighty bubble wrap. I'm no good with knives. Every time I get hold of a blade or a knife, I end up cutting myself, so. It's not too good. There we go. Sorry, Mum. Get open, get this open. Oh, I hate blades. Especially not sharp ones at that. There we go. Nice and protected. So, that's not too bad. What does the gloss look? Ooh. The gloss actually looks really nice. Just have to see what it looks like on the car. They don't exactly make one for my car yet, so that's why I bought the, the universal one. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Right, so we've got some double-sided sticky tape. That looks uh, quite old. So we'll see how it <laughs> we'll see how it pans out. I'm just gonna put three either three or four stripes on here. You can't exactly see what I'm doing, can you? Just give me a second while I uh, fix the camera. There we go. Should we zoom in a bit as well? There we go. So I'm just basically putting like one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. And I might put some... There we go. I might actually put one down the long of the bottom here. Like all the way down. I think that might be a pretty decent idea. Just got to see how this tape um, holds up really. One of the first steps we need to do though is clean under the bumper to make sure it's nice and clean so the tape will stick so we can get self tapering. I think the drill's charged, if it's not then <laughs> we're going to be a bit screwed but uh, actually mm, is it going to need some there? If it's just stuck down in the middle thing is we might have to press it on because it is like a little so a little bit curved. As you can see, like, the gloss on it is actually really nice. The gloss effect. So, let's... Will it fit the... Yeah, that'll do. We'll just put one there for now. Uh, I think we're going to put one on both sides. So one there. One there. Fan dabby dozy. Put another one there. This is all this is gonna do is just gonna help it stick down and it's gonna It's gonna help me self by self tapping it on. So it's gonna be stuck in one position. Where's the blade gone? There we go. Could really do with two hands for this, but at the end of the day, like I said in the previous video, I'm still learning. I'm still learning, you know what I mean? So ooh. Jack's got to do it on his own once in a while. So this is what we're doing, boys. This is what we're doing. If you can hear something squeaking, it's my shoe. <laughs> right, so we're going to stick with that for now. We're going to stick with that. And maybe, actually we'll stick two on the side. We'll stick two on the sides here. Wait a minute. There, we'll stick two on the sides there. And then um, we'll go from there. 
We'll go and uh, clean the car, bottom of the car and we will uh, stick it on, see what it looks like. I don't think I'm going to need to trim it. A lot of people said who's bought this for the course said they needed to trim it. Hopefully I won't need to trim it. But, there we go. Right, I'm not going to film... Uh, I'm not going to film me putting it on the car, like, I'm not going to, the sticky part, because the camera needs charging, so I'm going to leave that inside charging, and I'm just going to record myself uh, self tapering it on, really, and basically walking through how I did it, so, uh, hope you enjoy, let's get cracking, I'm scared, <laughs> I've never been near my car with a drill, well, I haven't, my brother has, my dad has, I have been nowhere near it with a drill, so I'm, I'm kind of scared, pray for me, please. Because I'm, I'm, I'm shitty bricks. Right, so basically we're having a bit of trouble uh, self-tapering through this because it must be just tough plastic, so we're probably just going to have to drill holes through it. Bear with me. So I've just measured it up on the car, it's probably going to be about there, where I'm going to have to drill the other one. Just because of the state of the bumper underneath, like, it's very close to the wheel well, so we're probably going to have to do that one about there. And probably the same again on that one. So let's get drilling. Why am I doing this? Just, just why? Uh, probably go there. Nice, neat holes. One there, one at the top, one there, and one there. So we've put one in already, and then hopefully, can you see that? You might not be, because of the light's crap. Let's turn this light on. Where is it? There it is, on that side. Try and line this bad boy back up. God. Oh god. So are we, are we going close to the exhaust? Yeah, we'll go over there. Oh, sugar. Sugar batteries. Dirty off just one screw, you know. Well, <laughs> I say that. Oh, God, it sounds awful. Ooh. Right, so we want it about there, I'm guessing. Yeah. So we'll put that in there, like so. Oh, oh God. I'm going get about.
must not come anywhere else. Well and truly. Magnifico in that. Still better off putting one in the back. Mm. Plus it not destroy. Just to make sure it's on really. Ah right. I think we should have gone a little bit further in with that one. We'll take it out and put another one in one set. Ah. Third one. Third down, lucky son. Oh, I'm so, so happy with this job. I've done it myself as well. All done it myself, and I did a sick job. The light is terrible. My camera angles are terrible, but I'm posting it anyway because I did a sick job. Let me show you. Right, one second. Let me bring the tripod up. All right. So basically, we've got one self tapper there on the corner. We've got another one in there. One second, we get a light. <laughs> got one self tapper there. Got another one there. And another one there. And another one there, just to keep it in, keep it in place. It's it's on. Look, it ain't. It is not coming off. It is not not coming off whatsoever. So I'm happy with that. Right. So this is what the diffuser looks like. All self tapping in. I'm going to add some pinstripe now, though. Oh, ho. need to add some pinstripe. Well, I'm trying to get the perfect light, but you can't because it's like so dark. But oh wow, it looks good. Looks ten times better than the white stripes. Ten times better.
Right boys, this is what it's looking like. Oh my god, the pinstripe does it so much better. It just looks so good. Oh my days. That looks insane. I can't believe how good it looks. A job I've done on my own and it looks that good. <laughs> Never do anything on my own. Never. And I'm so glad I've done it now. Let me get it from another angle. Oh my god, what? That looks so good. That really does look so good. Wow. So pleased with that. Right boys, it's a couple of days after of doing the diffuser. I just wanted to see how it'd hold up, like being self-tapped in and stuff. And to be fair, it actually looks really good and it's held up really well as well. I've actually, what I showed you in the video, like earlier clips, I used the black self-tappers and the paint hasn't come off them or anything. Uh, and basically they, they just held up really well. So obviously while I'm speaking now, I'll put some clips in the background. But obviously there's a little surprise in there as well, what you'll notice. There is a little, little surprise. Now, obviously if you're new to the channel, you won't know what I'm on about. But if you've been on the channel for a while, you'll know there's a little surprise in there. Which is very, very good. Very, very good. I can't wait to bring that video out. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. But guys, hopefully you did enjoy. Obviously I did it myself, the diffuser. So <laughs> I did struggle a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed guys, honestly. Thank you so much for the support recently, it's been amazing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the surprise video. Peace.